Okay, after a lot of requests, I'm making this video to show you how to return the T-Mobile G2X back to uh, its stock ROM after installing a custom ROM such as Cyanogen and Mod 7 in my case here, uh, nightly build. Now to do this, you're going to need to make sure you have the first backup you made of the stock settings um, with Clockwork Mod before you install the, uh, your first custom ROM or I'll have a link here to um, someone else's version of the stock ROM files and you can use that as well so once you have those located put it on your SD card and know where it is and then turn your phone off and use power and volume down to reboot into recovery okay we're here in recovery and the first thing I want to do is just um, wipe the cache and user data so first we'll go to uh, wipe data factory reset yes okay next we'll go down to wipe cache partition choose yes okay and finally go to advanced Wipe Dalvik Cache and hit yes. And there it is. Okay, so now we're ready to um, restore the stock ROM. And I'm going to use my backup of the stock and not the complete stock itself just because I know mine works. We're going to go to backup and restore, restore, and I just made a backup today. So here it is, uh, June 1st. Yes. Okay, my restore is complete, so I'm just going to reboot and make sure it worked. Okay, I've rebooted. It looks like the um, restore worked. And if you are going to set uh, send it back to T-Mobile, you want to erase any, you know, root required applications or things like that. And of course, we're going to unroot it a little in a little bit. Um, but just to be safe. Um, if you're sending it back, go ahead and download the complete stock file that I have linked there, and uh, that'll get rid of anything that you know might set up flags or or anything like that. So now we're ready to um, restore the stock recovery image, and you know that will get rid of Clockwork Mod Recovery and give us the stock recovery. So go ahead and turn off your phone. All right, flashing the recovery image, the stock recovery image is, uses the same program as um, flashing clockwork mod recovery. So you're going to need the one click G2X recovery flash, um, like we used before. Uh, open MV flash, uh, find the one click recovery flasher.exe. If you're using Vista or Windows 7, right click, run as administrator. Okay, here we go. Okay, with the battery out, go ahead and hold volume up and down and then plug the phone in your computer. Keep holding the buttons until I say. Now in one click recovery, you can go ahead and hit flash stock uh, while still holding the two buttons. And you can let go when it says SW upgrade, please wait while up upgrading. Yeah, there you go. So let go. That says press any key to continue and press any key. Now you can unplug it and put your battery back in. Okay, so far so good. So now the last step is going to be to root the, f uh, I'm sorry, unroot the phone. So, first step is go to settings. Um, we got to make sure USB debugging is on. So, Applications, development, USB debugging, and you do want it checked. Uh, 
Okay, go ahead and plug in the phone. And again, do not turn on USB storage, do not mount the SD card. Now we're ready to use Super One Click to unroute. Okay, go ahead and open up Super One Click and um, unrooting is just as easy as rooting. Go ahead and push unroot to unroot the phone. Okay, looks good. And it looks like we're done. So the final test is going to be to open up your apps and to look for a super user and PQRS S. Yeah, it's not there. So looks like we're unrooted successfully. Um, so that concludes the video. Good luck in your unrooting. It's ready to go. Uh, if you need to send it back to T-Mobile now, um, given that you uh, installed the clean, the clean uh, ROM files, the clean um, stock, and I have a link to that. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks.